It's cold for summer night. I text you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bother, but figured I gotta try. And you say you're busy, but I don't believe you, it's keeping me up at night. The way my emotions keep turning around, can keep it inside, no. Uh. Here we go, we go, we go. And let the roller coaster ride be. Branson, to make it through my circumstances, but you know I'm wise enough. Just to hide my pound, got a house in the So I might give a six to my chick. This is the wig I'm using for today's video. It's called Wig Encounters. Inside the wig box is the wig itself and a wig net, and then the little card that contains the company information. They sent me 180 density Indian Remy human hair coil bob. True FedEx, the shipping was very fast. The length is 14 inches. It's a glueless six pattern space lace frontal wig. And the size is average. This wig is so soft, it came with three wig combs inside, and then the knots are already bleached. I'm doing the stocking scalp method of installation, and this is the stocking scalp I'm using for the video. Using got to be glue to lay my edges first. Now I'm wearing the stocking scalp on my head so it will protect my hair from the glue. Got to be free spray to spray it on my head. Spray it like where my hairline stop. Then use my fingers to spread the product where I actually want the wig cap to be. Hair dryer to help dry the product faster on a low heat. Once it's dried, I'm using a mini scissors to chop off a little part of my ear and then put the stocking scalp behind my ear, like so. <laughs> using the mini scissors to chop off the SS stocking scalp in front of my head and at the back, starting from the middle part of my head down to the sides. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing great and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is a transformation video. Watch me transform. Please subscribe if you haven't. Just click the subscribe button and join the family. Leave a comment if you like this look, what you think about the look and give this video a big thumbs up if you're able to learn something from this video. Now I'm using a shade of my powder on the stockings cap so that the wig will look natural and I'm applying it with a brush the wig cap it came bleached already and with three wig combs inside also came pre-plugged i'm trying the wig cap on my hair just to see if it fits a tweezer to tweeze out or plug out some of the baby hairs you guys just see how natural this hair looks what the hair looks so natural like it's coming from my scalp just to get a better result of the plugging, I just spray water on my hands, just little, and then apply it on the wig and then continue to plug. Just continue to plug out the baby hairs until I'm satisfied. I just want it to look very natural and I'm doing a zigzag method. After plugging, I'm just combing the hair with this small comb. Please, I am rough here. Oh, please don't try it at home. Don't use small comb to comb out coily wig or coily hair. Now I'm just using hair clips to clip the hair out of the way then applying styling moist just so that the, all the little hairs in front will all stay at the back. The wig backwards so I can apply the glue. The next glue I'm using is this ghost bond glue and I will lie this is my first time trying it out. Applying the glue in dots in front of my head where I want the wig cap to be, then after that we'll just spread it with a metal. Still apply the glue on my head the second time because I want the wig to be on my head at least for a week plus. Get all the wig materials from wig store on Instagram, wig underscore store on Instagram, they deliver nationwide, that's if you are in Nigeria. I'm just taking my time to place the wig cap just where I applied the glue and as I'm placing it I'm adding little pressure with a comb and as well brushing the hairs backwards. I'm using the mini scissors right now to just separate where I applied the glue so I can easily apply glue on the other part of the head. So that we'll just go ahead to apply glue on the other part of my head We're using the same method.
after applying the lace glue we just go ahead to cut out the lace fronter the excess lace fronter in front now i'm just using alcohol to clean out the glue around the parameters of my head a wipe to clean off my face before makeup this is the tuna i'm using on my face turned it into a zaron container that has a pump so that i can easily spray it around my face Rising my face first with a black open moisturizer and after that we just go ahead to prime my face with Pond's face primer. Oh baby, I, I want you to foundation, this is my favorite foundation, less expensive, very lightweight and it covers all the spots of my face. So perfect for me for now. Blend it first with a small brush before blending it with a blending sponge. I'm using foundation that is a little bit lighter than me, lighter than my skin tone, like two shades lighter than my skin tone because I want to achieve a very natural, flawless look. Application of the foundation, and the foundation is the same product as the foundation I use on my face, Fit Me. So after applying the foundation, highlighting it, I'm just using a beauty blender or a beauty sponge to blend it out. <music> The foundation I'm using as concealer to highlight my face, I'm using Sasha Buttercup. The first application is just to set the foundation, then the second application is to help catch fallout of the eyeshadow I'm going to be using or I'm going to be applying on my eyes. I'm using a random eyebrow pencil I got from the market, Nigerian market, and it's in color brown or brown color. To find my brows, I'm using the same foundation I used to highlight my face underneath my brows first. Then we'll go ahead to use the shade of foundation I used on my face on the top part of my brows. After applying the foundation, I'm just using my fingers to blend it. Shadow, I'm just using a brown color as a transition shade first, then apply a light natural color on my lid. the eyeshadow I'm just lining my eyes all the details of the product will be in the description box like I said before eyelashes is from Aliexpress we'll just leave all the details in the description box below I'm using Nuban Beauty lip stain to make it look ombre we we'll first of all apply a classic lip stain in pink and then a light nude color from NYS then blend everything together I'm blending my face with Tara powder and after doing that we'll just go ahead to contour highlight and do all the good stuff as I'm blending my face with some powder I'm also applying it to the lace frontal so that everything will blend together <music> Off some baby hairs in front of my head and laying it with a little application on a got to be glue gel. Get yeah, the true definition of the hair. I'm spraying the hair with water and bringing out the gorgeousness of this hair guys is so soft and the coils is perfect yeah here is the final look thank you so much for watching this video to do and if you enjoyed this video please and you're able to learn something please leave a comment just comment say something write something down you understand <laughs> i give this video a big thumbs up if you are not subscribed already i know it is a subscriber i don't know what you are waiting for just subscribe by clicking the subscribe button it's so simple click and subscribe stay blessed i will see you guys in my next video bye